All right, today we're at a shop that does uh, work on some awesome stuff. Like, look at this truck. Totally revamping it. Uh, today, we've got Tyson. Tyson, thank you so much for meeting up with me. Yeah. I appreciate it. Look at this box. Oh, I love it. So this is uh, this is your shop, Tyson. Yes. Awesome. I guess you do mostly body work. Looks like from ground up restorations, we do wreck repairs, uh, a lot of custom trucks. Love like that. this one's a 1954 Kenworth that a guy brought to us. We're just restoring it for him. He's going to pull around his show cars with it. No um, way! It's so cool. A lot of custom fab Freightliner air air suspension put in the back and then we added some Peterbilt disc brakes to it to make it yeah. <laughs> have a little bit more stopping power than an old truck. So how long have you owned the, the shop? Uh, six years, going on seven here in January. Nice. So did you do the same type of work before you got into your own place? Yeah, I've been doing this for since 1996, 28 Man. years. Good, the uh, paint booth is huge too. Yeah, it's a down, cross down draft and it's uh, 20 feet wide. Uh, 14 six tall and 54 feet long bakes at 160 degrees if it's not going you're not making money so it's running every day it just turned on just a minute ago so do you do much wrenching I do here? quite a bit oh you yeah. do okay manage all the front stuff up that's going up there help my dad he's our estimator my wife does all of our accounting stuff help her with that uh, deal with the customers order any supplies train some of the younger technicians because there's not really a market for stuff like this. So mm. I believe in training up. So we bring on some younger guys, we train them how to do it, how to do it uh, the proper way from what we say, what we think, uh -huh. um, so that it's repaired as good as a manufacturer's quality. Hard industry to find some good help sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so putting the effort into them, it, it goes a long way. Okay, so you have an EUV here. How long have you had this? Just over a year. Just over a year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it showed up about this time last year. Man, I love that. And I love all the graphics on there. Yeah, it came originally, it was 100% white. Okay. And part of the deal I worked with them, they got me these graphics. I took the pro graphs that were on it off and then I installed them just because I, I'm, I believe in freedom and yeah. unity, you know? Absolutely. So, uh, I like to show my pride in my box. Yeah, I don't think you could pick a better a better graphic. That's so sweet. So what made you want to get the EUV over just like a regular regular box? I've always loved the big wheels. Yeah. Back when it was the classic EUV that uh -huh. had the smaller golf cart tire, I loved them. I have a big classic toolbox at home and wished I would have got the EUV in that back in the day when I bought it. So that's when I when they came out with this style with the newer style handles that's on it. Uh -huh. I, I was like, oh, I want one of those and slowly worked for it. I worked the guy for about a year or so <laughs> to get my pricing where I wanted to be oh, and then goodness. went from there. <laughs> so did you trade in your old box for this no, one? No, my old box is at home. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yeah. Is it white white too? No, it's it's the yellow and black uh, oh, yellow classic. And black. Okay. And then uh, my old tool guy, he got me all the Harley badges for it. I airbrushed on the bottom, Harley Davidson. I've got a Harley 100th uh, anniversary placard up in the top with a bunch of the small little uh, pin cases that they had for the Harley Davidson pins. Oh yeah. I like Harleys, <laughs> you know, so. Yeah. So does this, uh, I saw this like step, does this come with this box or is this something that you did? No, this is uh, something that they offer. They offer it Look and that. it's so you can actually step on it. No or way. Or if somebody's rolling something past, they don't hit your box okay. because it sticks out a little way. That's genius. Kind of like a shopping cart rail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you and have to like air up these tires? No. no, and it's crazy. These tires are Z rated, so they're rated for <laughs> high speeds, but it, it's crazy. Everybody asks how it turns, <laughs> yeah. like, because they're like, what, how did you get it here? Yeah. And it's got the handle at the end and those wheels turn. Okay. And when you uh, lift the handle, it has disc brakes and it applies the disc brakes oh, so that it doesn't yeah. move. So I love that. Uh, got the hutch. It's got the auto automatic light that love goes that. in it. Some of the little accessories that they offer, the shelves, the can holders, stuff to hold a few of my air blowers or something like that. 
Okay. Is that so? That comes from Snap On this big show. Yeah, you can oh, you can purchase these from them. That's Some true. of it comes with the box. They'll come with a few of these things. It's got like screwdriver holders that oh yeah. I don't use them because I like the foam holder. Uh -huh. But they've got holders in there that uh, they come with it. The mats that come with it are amazing. They got like a memory foam to them, so when you set your tooling down on it, it actually kind of indents in it, so it doesn't slide around oh, when you open and close. That's nice. So I see a few lights here. Are these your go-to lights? Yeah, <laughs> everybody. Oh, I think everybody that works on trucks, you got to have your your neck light, yeah. a headlamp, a flashlight. I've got other lights in other places that you can throw out and use while you're doing whatever you got to do yeah. <laughs> you got to have your snap on magic eight ball so what yeah. oh i gotta get one of those <laughs> so yeah you just i always walk up and tease the guys and be like are you going to be able to finish this truck today <laughs> and it'll it'll give you the answer oh, no doubt go. about no it doubt. <laughs> <laughs> so this side this side's not as organized as the rest of the box this is okay. more because all the bodywork stuff that you got, any sanders, grinders, face masks, stuff like that, random things that you don't use very often. This is probably the cabinet that gets opened up the least. Okay. Any type of block sanders, stuff like that. Things to lay down stripes. Uh, I got pounce wheels for patterns that I make on custom paint jobs, stuff like that. And then diagnostic tools that I don't use as often gotcha. on this side. What, sorry, what is this, uh, that Cornwell like headphone looking thing? This actually is a fan. So you can, oh. <laughs> I bought one for my mom cause she cleans the place for me and she's older and she's just like, sometimes when we have the air condition on, when she's going around, she's sweating and you can push a little button there, stick it around your neck and it blows no cool way. air across <laughs> your face. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, just one of those novelty things. I mean, I buy some weird random stuff Mako makes a hat with a flashlight in the front. It oh. also has speakers on both sides. What? So when you pull it down over your ear, you can be <laughs> listening to music while you're working if it's cold out. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah. So is that Bluetooth? It is Bluetooth. Oh. Yeah, I don't think about some of the weird random tools that, <laughs> that, that you just buy, but right. yeah, I'm, I've got like a tiny polisher. I, we do work on semi trucks and doing it around some of these rivets. I'm sure some of these guys will appreciate this. Like it makes it hard getting in these tight places. It's Whoa. a one inch polisher. So you can sit there and polish around things. Comes with all the pads. Most of the polishers that we do, we've got, I've got a three inch Makita one or Milwaukee one in that other side. And then we've got our bigger eight inch polishers that we use all the time that I was like, this might make my job easier. Yeah since we're there. I'm a Milwaukee fan too, so it looks like I, got, it. <laughs> I got a lot of Milwaukee tools. So up here, a drawer that slides out. I've got a hammer and dolly set that's underneath all that. Okay, I love the lights, man. Yeah, it, that's the best part. I mean, when you go to open something up, you can, it shines down in it. You can see what you're getting. Yeah. Like you say, i Milwaukee fan. I have probably the only black Look Milwaukee you've ever seen that's awesome <laughs> uh but that and that's not the case the case it's not it doesn't have the rubber case on it. I'm gonna get okay. one for it but all kinds of random Milwaukee's this is one that I just recently purchased just because I saw it on a <laughs> uh, YouTube video <laughs> the guy made it look so handy so I was like I'm getting one down in here a little bit more specialty tools die okay. grinders belt sanders air hammers things to help take apart the truck a little easier for me. Okay. A paint respirator in there. That's it's their newest one that they came out with. My other one was getting a little dated, so got a new one. Yeah. Just <laughs> got to keep yourself safe. Yeah. So I'm, I'm noticing that like this box is just pristine. Same with that one. Uh -huh. Do you guys get a lot of dust? I was thinking this is gonna be like really dusty area, but. That's one thing a lot of customers say is they're amazed that this is a body shop and we keep it as clean as we do a lot of the times. So uh -huh. I have my guys at the end of the shift, they'll clean up, they're supposed to sweep up. Every once in a while we'll take and we'll, I got a big compressor that's out back that's a diesel powered one. Okay. And we'll bring it up and we'll move stuff out and we'll blow the shop out because I, like stuff to kind of look nice. Yeah. I got a little bit of OCD. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. Everybody's got to have their socket drawer. My goodness. Uh, the only downfall I wish when I was ordering this, I knew I needed more room because now I got to stack some things on top of stuff to where 
you oh, know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the foam. So that's look at all the foam. every oh, everything it. that I talk to my tool guy about. I'm like, <laughs> I want that in foam. And if they don't have it, then I wait a little bit. Like yeah. I don't, I'm not a. These are nice. They just take up a little bit too much room because oh, gotcha. if you had these three sets, that's that's equivalent to those three sets, and it takes up less room. So. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess all about kind of saving some space. Oh yeah, for sure. You mostly snap on for like. Soft yeah, I think stuff. I bet ninety percent of it snap on in here. I got a couple weird random ones like Matco used to make these. They don't make them anymore. It's called Special Forces. So your bolt can go oh, nice. all the way through the center of it. Like a pass and, through. Huh? Yeah, and every one of them's interchangeable for them. Wow. So they don't make this set. They don't make that anymore. Huh. They discontinued yeah. it. And now there's another company that I seen that's making it, but the ends of these aren't the splines because these are like the splines on a inside of a ratchet. Okay. They're more of a square. It looks huh. like a reverse uh -huh. of it. So it looks like all your ratchets are snap on. Yeah. The fan of their ratchets. Yeah. Even the, the weird random one that I, I think it's the ugly ratchet, but it's the one that has no teeth. It's done by like a clutch system. Oh, okay. Do you have one that you reach for, like your go-to ratchet? This one. That guy right there. <laughs> that guy right <laughs> there. I like the handle, I like the flex, and I like that it's the, the fine tooth. Yeah. I mean, these other ones are nice. Yeah. Uh, they're just not as comfortable. So yeah, I, I tend to go for that. There's, oh, there's another one here that's the locking one. Oh, gotcha. That, yeah, just kind of hidden underneath some stuff there. Yeah, yeah, I really like the quick release on the uh, on these. I makes, do too. Makes you it know, come off a lot easier. Oh, these are really nice. Yeah, I bought those just two weeks ago for really? one job, <laughs> all because I needed a 10 millimeter for the new Duramaxes. Their hood scoops got this long reach to get up in there, but it's got a pin to guide the nut up into it. Oh. Okay. And we were doing some custom work for a friend's truck, and I didn't have it, so. I gotcha. bought it. Everybody's got to have their screwdriver drawer again, run out of room. So some stuff stacked on top for oh, now. Yeah. Man, all the snap on. Do you like their, their T-handle designs? I do. I, I originally bought the torque or yeah, the Allen heads uh -huh. and loved them so much that I was like, I'm going to take my Torx screwdrivers home. And I bought these. It's nice because you can spin it real quick. Oh yeah. You can flip it around actually get a little bit of torque on it with with that i mean you can still t-handle it in some areas so again i Look i like the that. foam it's such a big set too yeah i think it's their biggest set for their screwdrivers that's in foam okay they sell the same kit but it comes in a plastic case that are like these i i just eventually want to get everything in foam yeah. yeah it seems like the older style even like are even more prone to like cracking and yeah stuff. so i have this set in in this style handle but it's in my toolbox at home gotcha. so as i upgrade stuff here some of it goes home ends up in that toolbox and are these snap on too no oh. these are actually from the mac tool guy oh, okay they, there's one missing one of my guys over there is using it right now on a ford uh, cono line and it's a longer one one of the novelty things yeah you know you've always got clips and stuff like that that you need to get to so yeah, i've never seen this before this smaller metal clip this? tool. not that one well yeah that one's awesome too yeah that's <laughs> but the, the gorilla finger like that clip tool. so this is new to snap-ons it's, is it? okay. it's their blue point it's same kind of tool as those it's just thin so you oh, can yeah. actually get into some places it's got the multiple sized uh clip for wow. smaller and the bigger clips on it so it makes it easy to get in there this is another new one of their little things oh wow, look at that that's cool it, i mean it's got so many uses i I've, I've been using it to take and i use it to push tape in it into some of the edges okay. and you can get in there and kind of get yourself out of the way get something pushed in there yeah. so it's nice for pulling panels sliding it in between some stuff oh, yeah, so that sure. then you can get to those i do have the it in a plastic version so you're not scratching stuff oh but, gotcha yeah so you mentioned uh mac do you get all the trucks out here we do nice seems like uh, Mac yeah. is a pretty rare truck we, to get it is so <laughs> it's crazy because i liked mac tools and had a lot of mac tools and then they kind of fizzled out there for a minute uh -huh. and then one day we saw them next door because one of the guys came from geneva rock and he they tool guy followed him there and i saw him out in their parking lot so i walked around and says hey man we got a lot of 
guys over here that like Mac tools. So he started coming on Mondays, Cornwell, Tuesday afternoon, Thursday morning we get Matco, and Thursday afternoon we get Snap-on. It's kind of rare to see a shop that gets all of them. Yeah. It seems like there's always one that doesn't come, but that's cool. Yeah, and it's cool because they all have some unique tools. Yeah. Like in, yeah. I'm kind of the guy that goes on there and I see it and I think that's cool. I'm an impulse buyer, so I'm <laughs> <laughs> buy it. Uh, and that's the dangerous thing about going on the trucks. So. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing goes with the wrench drawer. Look at that. Gosh, you got the massive, what was that, like a 38-piece set? It's their Flank Drive Plus. Yeah, and the foam just makes it look so nice. Yeah, it, that's the thing that I liked is that my other set took up so much room because it was in an organizer like that. So now everything's kind of conjoined, fits in, in there a little bit. You got some miscellaneous ones, some Mako wrenches. I liked these gear drive wrenches just because they're flexible. Oh, yeah. But then I've got different ratcheting wrenches for other things. I got wrenches up to two inch. Jeez. So, <laughs> so I'm noticing a lot of these are standard. There is quite a bit of standard. Most big trucks for the longest time have been standard uh, fasteners on it. Really? Now, I, I bet it's back maybe 2006 or seven. They really started going to the metric. So oh, wow. I've got some that these are all metric, metric, uh, this side's metric. I have a metric and a standard set of those. Okay. Yeah, I don't see this very often. It's like butterfly. Yeah, butterfly impact. That's why there's no fitting in it anymore <laughs> okay. is I don't use it very often. And I was just like, I told my boy, I'm like, you can have that if you want it. And he's like, what would I use it for? Yeah. <laughs> I don't really use much of my air tools like this anymore. I always go for my electric. Milwaukee oh, electric right. just because it's just, I don't have to go grab an air hose. I can just choo, 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 and yeah. pull whatever I need. I don't see these very often either, like the snap on. Yeah, so I used to tease a kid because you've got a right and then it shows left. Uh -huh. So I told the kid, go get me a metric left-handed crescent <laughs> wrench one day. And he's just like, looked at me and he's like, what? And he walked around asking people for it. But on one side, it shows the standard measurements. Uh -huh. And on the other side, it shows metric <laughs> with the left hand. So I, I did like to mess with them. So yeah, I do want to get this. They make they have a newer set of this. It's got the rubbery grips, okay. but I'm waiting for the four piece set to come in foam. They've only got a two piece set in foam gotcha. right now. Yeah, it looks like these even have like teeth. Yeah, like, yeah, right. they're like the flank drive plus. So like if That's you awesome. if you look in there, you can actually see that they've got teeth on those. Yeah. So huh. less less chance of ruining a bolt with a crescent wrench yeah and I, this is just random every Speed tool drawer. guy's got some yeah. fasteners <laughs> and stuff in it and then we'll come down and you got your plier drawer you got a little bit of mixture of everything in there as well got some knippics yep i just got this new little i left them in the box because they're small but what is that so they just came out with these little tiny tweezers what? and it has an alignment pin so that you don't accidentally off try and offset it a little bit but look at that yeah every once in a while you get a little metal splinter yeah uh you can get them out fairly easy with those uh i'll show you my go-to for splinters though if you get metal splinters these little guys got the best little gripper right at the end and you can get right up to your skin and get it. So. And as far as pliers go, do you typically stay? It looks like there are a bunch of different brands in there. Well, I got snap-ons through here. It looks like a couple of my guys got some out right now. Um, that is Milwaukee brand. Okay. And I bought it just because of the different tip on the front of it versus the Nipix. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna come down and get into the hammer drawer. Man. I love that even the color is the same as yep. the Yep, yeah, I like the dark, dark titanium. That's the thing that I tell my Snap-on guy. When it comes out in dark titanium, I'll get it. Love so that. as they, they're doing stuff, I'll get that. Snap-on's working on coming out with their body hammer set again. They really? had it, it went away, and now it's coming back. So it's, their old ones were the hickory handles uh -huh. like this. The rest of this set's at home because I have my new set up in there. But uh, as soon as they come out and they've got this that look like this in foam, I'll, I'll oh, get wow. that too. 
that'll be nice. That is a huge deadbolt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Mac dead blow that's been used and abused. <laughs> if you're doing big trucks, you've got to have clamps. All their fenders on all these composite hoods and stuff, they're all glued together with epoxies and stuff like that. So you've got clamps for putting all those hoods together. You got clamps for holding other things. I got clamps that I use when I'm clamping. We'll extend a frame or when we're doing new frame rails on a truck, uh -huh. we'll clamp stuff in place while we're marking stuff or getting ready to drill it or holding it up there. So you do a lot of welding here? A lot of welding? Yeah. Uh, a little bit. Uh, I just barely bought the brand new ESOB welding helmet not too long ago. This, I have the old Miller helmet that I've had for probably 20 years. And I bought this one just because of the sight glass that's in this. Whoa. The lens looking through yeah, it from the inside awesome. is so big. And it's from welding with this and welding with this, this looks like everything's in HD. Really? That it is an awesome wow. helmet. Uh, it's the A60, so it's their highest helmet that they have out there right now. Wow. And it's got a grind function that you can just push the button and the lens stays clear so you can just keep your head down and work. Barely picked that up like maybe <laughs> a week ago. I only just went over and watched one of my guys weld. Yeah. Just so I could see the clarity <laughs> in it because I had heard so much about it. I was yeah. like, yeah purchases that you go oh i need that yeah <laughs> and then like this is just full of welding stuff i got a welding coat a different welding sleeves another welding coat that's lighter nice. gloves different cutting glasses for different applications and stuff like that just to make things a little bit nicer when when you're welding you know you don't want to burn your eyes sure yeah you got every kind of drill bits drills nice I don't tend to use the air drills as much anymore <laughs> as I do the electric drills, so. Do you have a drill bits that you're your favorite type? So I, I know everybody's got good drill bits out there, but Mac has the best warranty. Oh, okay. So if you have a drill bit and these are just the stubby drill bits, um, oh, if, if I even break that little tiny guy uh -huh. and take it to him, He'll give me a brand new bit. Oh, that's nice. And most of the other competitors, it's from a quarter and above oh, that you gotcha. get warranted. They so the ones that you break, <laughs> they the, want <laughs> Yeah, they consider the smaller ones a consumable bit. Huh. So big hole saws for drilling holes in the back walls of trucks to add lights nice. and stuff like that. This is a, a hole saw kit. It's oh, just, okay. yeah, just nice. a, another way to keep it a little organized yeah. in there. Yeah, it's funny. Everybody's going away from air. And whenever I go into a shop and I hear air, super nostalgic for me. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I mean, you, you grow up and if you know body work, you hear sanders all day. You used to hear air files a lot more. Yeah. I think we've refined our technicians a little bit more to where the air file is not as necessary. Uh, we can teach them to lay the body filler down a little smoother so then they can just grab a block sander, a linear block sander, sand it, get, get the... Uh, finish that we're, we're desiring. And then uh, I got a, an electrical drawer. When you're fixing anything electrical, you got your little pins to pull stuff, a yeah. terminal kit, all your little pliers, little testing lights, ones that go in lighters, their newer one. They had one there for a while that I had and I wasn't a big fan of. I like the old incandescent bulb because you actually knew you had 12 volt to light that light bulb oh, up. Oh, sure, yeah. And the other one, when you would actually test something, it may show a little bit of current in it, but it didn't need very much to make the light glow. So this new one now, uh, it has a digital reading. It'll tell you how many volts are in it. It lights up green or nice. red if you're on a ground or a uh, positive. So. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed like the LED ones, uh, you could have like three volts and it'll still light yeah, up. Yeah, that was the problem <laughs> with the other one. So it's at home in the toolbox where I don't use it as much. Okay. This one I can actually get the reading if I need it. I got my fluke in there or I can go grab a power probe out of the other room nice. to make sure that we've got the right power. And I, I noticed you have a snap-on uh, soldering iron. Does yeah. that work pretty well? It does. does it? I actually use this more for heat shrinking. Really? I, yes. <laughs> it's got the little attachments on it. It's got these little attachments that you can put on, but you can actually pull this off and I have 
the one oh, look at so that. when you go to heat shrink the newer style like these little uh butt connectors uh -huh. a lot of people would use a little mini torch or a cigarette lighter yeah. this just blows hot air across it and look shrinks it without that. damaging the wire so i like it i like that when you're working there you can set it on oh, something that's cool it's got the little holder to help so that if it's hot, you can put it back in it, keep it cool. We got 110 testers for when we're doing the RVs. Okay. You know, so one of those things, we've get 12 volt systems, you get 120 and 220 volt systems on some of these RVs. So you have to have a little bit of everything to yeah. kind of <laughs> test it all. I've got a little cart here. It's my overflow. So some stuff's gonna probably migrate over. I do want to change this and get the white one with the silver to match. Okay. It's just kind of some random tools you got a soldering kit you got your tap and die set uh i know that one guy's using my unispotter it's usually in a lower drawer some of my paint guns some of the other ones i keep in our mixing room down there that i use more often gotcha like i says there's where the other kit kind of sits for the most part one kit that one drawer that's just got my paper templates for custom paint jobs that to go back to for uh quick references okay more clamps little jacks these work freaking perfect you go get them out of a wrecking yard yeah and you can fit them in between the frame rail of a truck and a cab to lift it up to get to what you kind of need to do because they run on air and when their air bleeds out the cab sits down that's genius yeah just huh. one of those ways to pick it up bottom drawer is just full of my car stuff okay yeah Man. and then i got my little roller tray oh look at that yeah i've had two different carts and i'm not a cart fan yeah because they just collect clutter <laughs> everything ends yeah. up on the bottom i had one with a drawer one with a lid and it just turns into kind of a junk collector so where this one i can roll around it's easy to get to and i don't tend to put as much on it because i like to use it and it's it work a height so while yeah. I'm working so I can just reach over and grab it and do That's some of that awesome. stuff so freaking sweet setup here thank you love it I just like you, even your wheels are shiny yeah <laughs> everybody thinks that I armor on that's just how clean they always look oh, I've it. had people be like do you put tire shine on those <laughs> no they're just they they stay uh, clean man. well Tyson thank you so much for meeting up with me I really yeah. you look pretty darn busy yeah we're, <laughs> so, we're swamped i appreciate you taking the time out of your day to meet up with me but uh man if uh, if you need work on your truck hit up tyson elevated truck here and uh, uh if you have a toolbox or a mobile setup and you'd like to be featured on the channel just hit me up send me a message on instagram or just send me an email until the next one we'll see you